in this lecture we are going to talk about low pressure receptors low pressure receptors uh, basically help in control of arterial pressure just like baroreceptors and chemoreceptors but uh, they are uh, located in low pressure area and uh, they are basically uh, present in both the atria these are the atrias in the heart and they are present in the pulmonary arteries these areas are basically the low pressure area area uh, pressure in these uh, pressure at these sites is normally low but how they help how the low pressure uh, receptors how they help in control of the arterial pressure arterial pressure so uh, basically when the volume of blood basically increases only then they get uh, they help in control of arterial pressure and they these receptors do not allow rapid increase in the arterial pressure and this thing can be explained with this simple uh, diagram now suppose for example this is a normal dog as an experiment we have taken a dog with normal barrow receptors uh the arterial uh, receptors which are present in the carotid arteries and the aortic arch which we have discussed in detail in the previous lectures this dog has normal barrow receptors and uh, normal low pressure receptors if this uh dog is injected with 300 ml of iv fluid 300 ml of iv fluid with both normal receptors normal barrow receptors and normal low pressure receptors in the atria and the pulmonary arteries the arterial pressure of this uh, dog will just increase by 15 mm of mercury from normal of 100 from a normal of 100 mm of mercury to 115 or just an increase of 15 mm of mercury with an uh, with an infusion of just 300 mm now this dog uh barrow receptors are being denervated in the same dog the de the barrow receptors are being uh, denervated well dog is a mammal and the experiments done on the mammals uh are basically extrapolated to the human beings so in this dog the barrow receptors are denervated and then the same amount of 300 ml fluid is injected into this dog and the pressure rise is about 40 mm of mercury or a rise of from normal 100 to 140 or an increase of 40 mm of mercury as compared to just 15 mm of mercury increase in a normal dog with normal barrow receptors and normal low pressure receptors now in this same dog the low pressure receptors the low pressure receptors which are which is the topic of our discussion these receptors are also denervated the barrow receptors and the low pressure receptors both are denervated or both are removed and then the same uh, 300 ml fluid is injected into this dog this time the increase is about 100 mm of mercury or uh, from 100 from normal of 100 mm of mercury to 200 mm of mercury or an increase of around 100 mm of mercury so this shows that the low pressure receptors present in the atria and in the pulmonary arteries also try to keep the arterial pressure in check and this has been uh, shown with this experiment that if both the receptors the barrow receptors and the low pressure receptors are intact and the fluid is given to uh, is injected into a dog there is just an increase of 15 mm of mercury if only barrow receptors are denervated then there is an increase of 40 mm of mercury and if the barrow receptor plus the low pressure receptors are denervated then there is an increase of about 100 mm of mercury for the same amount of fluid this must be taken into notice that the amount of fluid injected is at the same time and uh for the same duration and the same uh, amount so the amount is always 300 and uh, 300 mm or uh, ml but the increase is tremendous like there is just a 15 mm of mercury increase here uh, the 40 mm of mercury increase and here 100 mm of mercury but the low pressure receptors the low pressure receptors only help in the control of arterial pressure 
when there is increase in the blood volume or when there is an increase in the arterial pressure due to increase volume so normally if the arterial pressure is high if the arterial pressure is high due to systemic hypertension these low pressure receptors cannot help they cannot help they can't help in systemic increase they cannot help in systemic increase but if there is an increase in arterial pressure due to extra volume and there is extra volume coming into these low pressure site then this will definitely cause uh, this uh, then these receptors these low pressure receptors uh, come into action and they help to control the increase in arterial pressure so low pressure receptors basically help to control arterial pressure when there is an increase in uh, pressure at low pressure site like atria and pulmonary arteries and uh, the an experiment to prove that they are helpful is done on dogs and in normal dog with both the baroreceptors and low pressure receptors intact and 300 ml of fluid injected there will be just 15 mm of mercury rise in arterial pressure if the baroreceptors are denervated in a dog and the same amount of fluid is injected there will be an increase of 40 mm of mercury in arterial pressure but if both the low pressure receptors and baroreceptors are denervated and the same 300 ml of fluid is injected into a dog then there will be an increase of around 100 mm of mercury this shows that low pressure receptors also are helpful in keeping the arterial pressure in check but they are helpful only when there is an increase in the pressure at low volume site a low pressure site like pulmonary arteries and atria but they do not help if there is uh, an increase in the uh, systemic uh, systemic arterial pressure they will not help they will only help when there is increase uh, pressure increase at low volumes uh, low pressure site and the 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 pressure at low the pressure in these areas increase only when there is increase volume so they specifically help when the volume of blood increase so that's all about the low pressure receptors and their role in maintaining the arterial pressure thanks a lot for watching the video